Hi guys, it's me Chessy and welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my favorite and most worn dresses and how I remake them in the different version. In sewing, I like to challenge myself with the new techniques or the different style or design. They're the way to help me improve my sewing skill. But when it's come to my daily life, I like the easy throw on outfit. They are quite as casual. They are also suitable for my daily fly and they're really comfortable for any activities. But they still have to be pretty and show my personal style. And here are three of my favorite dresses. I really love their design because they're quite as easy to make and they fit my style perfectly. And I also find myself wearing them the most in my daily life. It's 2023 and one of my new year resolution is preparing myself for the pregnancy. Yes, Lalin and I will start trying to get pregnant this year. That's why I want to stay healthy mentally and physically. So I decided to try our native deodorants because it's aluminum freeze. It's made from simple and extracted ingredients, you know, like coconut oil or cheese butter. Native also offer plastic free with their sustainable packaging. I got myself a pack of three deodorants in my favorite scent so I can change it every day to match the outfit I wear on that day. When I put on my simple open back dress, I will go with lavender and rose. The mix between the bogus herbaceous lavender and the subtle floral notes of rose and geranium will send your body flower. It's just met perfectly with the vibe for my dress. On a sunny day, I love to throw on my purposely dress and therefore I choose native and send it to go with. The dress itself combined with the sunlight already give the best vibe. That's why I don't want to mix it up with any scent and sometimes the perfect scent is no scent at all. When it's come to a cloudy day, I choose my button down dress to lift my mood up. The floral printing from the fabric make the cucumber and mink scent become the best option on this day. It feels like I'm running in the garden of clean and refreshing. Even I like them on, but my favorite scent is lavender and rose because it just met perfectly with my style whenever I wear it with my dresses. My first impression when I started using Native is that it's not sticky and feels dry when applying. So I feel so comfortable after that. I'm not a super sweaty or stinky person, but my body smell gets quite stronger when it's come around that time of the month. And I noticed that Native would quite as well on that day and it lasts for the whole day long as well. Native just launched their candy shop collection this month to keep up the sweetness of the holiday season. This collection of obnoxiously craveable candy shop inspired scents give the bright moment of indulgence with delicious flavor and colorful fun on around. Native also have more to offer. They have amazing body washes and lotion. So if you're looking for an aluminum free deodorant, I would like to recommend you to try our Native. You can use the link in my description and my code JESTAN to get 33% off your first deodorant pack with three of your favorite scents. With my code, you also can get 20% off of any body wash or lotions. And now let's start making this beautiful dress. The first dress is this super puff sleeve dress. I first made it in a short length version. It's an extra cute baby doll dress. It's also super comfortable and in a loose dress. In the new version, I make it in a midi length, so it could be more suitable for my casual going out day. Because of that, I make the length of the sleeve a bit shorter to keep the balance for the whole dress. And the length of the skirt part will be from the belly button to over the knee. Besides these changes, the whole process of making this dress is the same with the first version. In my opinion, it's better to use the thing and live fabric to create a flowy feeling for the dress.
and here is my final result. With this version, the dress becomes more as a casual and going out dress. The next dress is a simple open back dress. I got a lot of good feedback for this dress because it's not only pretty but also super easy to make. So in the new version, I keep the same for the baddest part and make a big chain for the skirt part by turning it into T-skirt. Here's the new part and I cut for the skirt part. In the first T of the skirt part, I do the same as I did in the original dress which means creating the elastic look at the back in the gathering fabric at the front of the first tier. At the second tier, I connect two pieces together by the land lines to create a circle fabric foot. After that, I make a loose seam to create the gathering fabric day later. The final width of the gathering fabric should be the same as the width at the first tier, so we can connect them together later. At the third tier, I connect two pieces together by the land lines to create a circle fabric foot. After that, I fitted one side of the circle fabric, which is the end of the skirt, by folding the end fabric inside two times with one centimeter each time, and so on. At the other side of the third tier, I make a loose seam foot, then I create a gathering fabric there later. 
The final width of the gathering fabric should be the same as the width at the second tier, so we can connect them together later. And here are three teeth of the skirt part. We just need to connect them together and sew so to finish the skirt part of the dress. The last step is connecting the bodice and the skirt part together. And here's the final result. This dress will be perfect for a big day. The last dress is my button-down dress. I love it because of the vintage vibe and the loose fix makes it so comfy when wearing. I make it in the midi land with the front pocket in the first version. So in the new one, I decide to make it shorter in midi land with side pockets. I keep the same method for the baddest part. For the skirt part, the length of the dress will be from the belly button to above the knee. To create a vintage vibe for the dress, I increase the width of the skirt part a bit too. I also add two side pockets for the dress to make it more functional. The position of the side pockets is 8cm under the top of the skirt part. After connecting two front pieces to the back piece of the skirt at two sides, I make a loose seam at the top of the skirt to create a gathering fabric there later. The final width of the gathering fabric will be the same with the baddest part, so we can connect them together later. The rest of the dress will be finished in the same way as the original one. And here's the final result. The floral printing from the fabric makes it even cuter and perfect for a picnic day. I hope you like them on and we'll try them out. See you next week!